Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm Michaela from MK Geckos and today I will be showing you how to make a Cresta Gecko enclosure um, as well as it can be used for gargoyle geckos. So yeah, stay tuned. So basically the only thing you're gonna need is some substrate and cage accessories. So I'm gonna go over what I have here. I'm gonna be using hanging plants, a vine, possibly this vine plant, a mossy pipe, and a feeding ledge. I am upgrading this gecko in here, so I will be using the cork bark that's already in here and possibly those plants. Now for substrate, everybody uses something different, but you can use things like paper towel, um, coconut core, as well as peat moss, and just make sure it has no fertilizer in it, make sure it's all organic, and sphagnum moss. Um, in my video, I will be using a mix of um, different things because I, I will be making a bioactive enclosure as soon as um, stores open and I can get some bugs and leaf litter. Although I do have my own springtails growing, that's just um, rice in there, those long things. Um, I will be using those and let those grow. I also do have my own isopods going. Um, these guys are a little bigger. But I'm more just letting these guys, um, do their own thing first. And getting a bunch of them. So you can buy these compressed core, coconut core, um, bricks they will expand and make a bunch of substrate but in mine um, i already have some in there so i'm going to use that some repti soil this stuff is actually great to use on its own um, i just like mixing it because i don't know i've always done that i might use some repti bark or you can use forest floor bedding which is cypress mulch as well as some sphagnum moss so in this build, I will be using a 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra, and it is the Tiki version. Um, I'm not really sure how to feel about that background, but I'm going to keep it in. Now, if you're doing a bioactive enclosure, you're going to want some sort of um, drainage layer. In my case, I am using um, hydro balls, but you can use egg crate, pebble stones, um, but I just, I like the hydro balls the best. Now, in my opinion, hydro balls are pretty expensive. They're like 10 bucks for, like, nothing. I actually buy a huge bag, and I got this at a local um, flower growing shop, I guess it would be called. And these are them. I like to rinse down my balls first before putting them in. You don't have to, but it just gets rid of the dust, so... you're going to want some sort of a uh, layer between your substrate and your balls. In this case, I'm using um, window screen. Now you can buy already sized screen. Um, uh, Exoterra makes some for this type of aquarium, but in this case, I'm just using this. So now you're ready to add your substrate. So you want to add a decent layer of substrate and now you can add your decorations any way you want. Um, just make sure there's a lot of climbing and hiding spaces for the gecko. Now whenever you get new plants you always want to make sure to rinse them down um, just to get all the chemicals off if there's anything on there, any debris or anything. So yeah, I'm going to wash these. I think this is the uh, finished project here. Um, normally I would add more cork bark, but unfortunately the stores are closed like to walk in, so, and I like to choose my own cork bark, but I think that looks pretty good. So this girl right here is getting an upgrade. She's going into a bigger tank. This is Antari. God, she's gorgeous. All right, let's get her in. Okay, Antari, this is your new home. Bunch of new smells. Go on. There you go.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe down below. Okay, bye! Thank you.